This week, we're turning an existing food plot into a late season honey hole and also tuning up that prime rise, getting it ready for deer season. Growing Deer is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, Reconyx, Trophy Rock, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Dead Down Wind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Blood Sport Arrows, Flatwood Natives, Morel Targets, Non Typical Wildlife Solutions, Hooks Custom Call, Montana Decoy, Summit Tree Stands, Drake Non Typical Clothing, Howes Lubricator, Genesis, No Tail Drill, LEM Game Processing, Fourth Arrow, G5 Broadheads, Prime Bows, and Redneck Hunting Blinds. You got it. He's not going anywhere. He's a nice deer, though. You got it. I think so. Thank you now. Oh, man. With Grant taking his father to the Mayo Clinic this week for a checkup, we went ahead and got to work improving one of the food plots here at the Proving Grounds. There's one big bonfire waiting to happen right there. We've never been able to hunt this portion of crab apple because of the islands and the limited visibility. The summer months can often mean hot temperatures, lots of sweat, ticks, snakes, and all the other critters that come out in those months, but it can also mean drastically improving your hunting and food plot locations. We're here in crab apple food plot. You've probably heard Daniel and the interns running the chainsaws back behind us. That's because today we're improving the huntability of this location as well as increasing the amount of acreage that we can plant in this plot. Years ago, when Grant established this food plot, he left these small circles on the interior of the field that had species that were beneficial to the wildlife. But over time, they've started being choked out or crowded out by cedars, elms, and other species that aren't beneficial to the wildlife, so it's time that they have to go. With a little elbow grease, some power tools, and the help of our interns, we were able to cut all the vegetation out of these islands, stack it in the center of where the islands used to be, and prepare it for burning this summer, We'll return this fall to plant it in Eagle Seed Broadside. Going to stop the work for a second and introduce our newest intern, Mark Baker. Of course, we introduced Chance Vorderstrauss last week at the Hot Zone Fence. Mark joined us this week, helping us with one of our big projects. Standing next to a large brush pile, which used to be one of the islands, cut all the trees off at ground level, piled them in the center, nice and tight, getting ready to burn. We have six islands total across this field, so once they're all removed and burned off, we're going to gain about an acre to plant in this food plot. It's important when you're cutting trees or saplings out of a food plot and you don't want the problem to reoccur, once you cut the tree, you treat it with the herbicide within a few minutes to kill the roots to make sure the problem doesn't come back. This is another reason why we're removing these islands out of the center of the field. We've got a groundhog hole. There's several of these throughout the islands, armadillo holes. They're all living in these islands, coming out, eating the soybeans, or armadillos are digging around, making other holes out in the field for the tractor driver to run over. It's also creating ambush points for coyotes to hide in these islands as the deer or fawns or turkey poults come out here. So we're removing the islands that aren't providing much benefit and replacing it with high quality forage with the Eagle Seed food plots. So we'll come in with a 15-foot redneck, hunt it on a west or northwest wind. There's no islands or thickets obstructing our view. We'll have standing eagle seed beans or some eagle seed broadside mixed in, and this could turn into our favorite place to be during the late season. Recently, a box from Prime Bows showed up. I was happy to see it was a prime rise, so I couldn't wait to get it set up. Well, it's an exciting day. Got the prime rise in just recently. Headed up to Bass Pro today. Getting ready to head in, get it all set up. Well, I'm always excited to set up a new bow. Decided to come into Bass Pro. Met up with Jacob. He's trained at doing this sort of stuff. So we've got the C-Max Rest. That's gonna be our first step in setting it up and getting it ready to shoot. I've been shooting the C-Max Rest for several years now. I love the full containment drop away feature. So it's time to put it on the bow.
The next step was to get the peep side on and get it all adjusted. <laughs> well, now that Jacob has the rest and the peep side on, it's time for the sights. Trying out the Redhead Blackout sights this year. It's a five pin. The great thing about it is the fiber optics are completely protected all the way through the sight, but they're still housing on top to pull in plenty of light so it won't be any problem to see the pins during that booner light. Here we go, Jacob, you ready? I'll let you have it. All right. Looks pretty good. Now that we have the rest of the sights and the peep on, it's time to cut the blood sports and start fine tuning the boat. With the prime rise all set up, it's time to give it a few test runs. Well, the prime rise is all set up. Now we're just waiting on deer season. Jacob, we appreciate everything. No we'll get out of here. You guys have a good one. Come see us. Will do. Man, that feels good. Got the rise all set up this morning at Bass Pro Shops. Took a few shots this afternoon, got her lined up. Now the practice begins for deer season. If you want more tips, tricks, or behind the scene footage, check out our weekly blog or clips page. We're always putting footage on there, so there's plenty of stuff for you to check out. Whether you're sighting in a new bow, getting ready for deer season, or doing a little habitat work, remember to do it all for the glory of God. Thanks for watching Growing Deer. On, but I don't know what you're aiming up there. Heart. No wonder I went the opposite way. I've never had Blake, a. Wait, don't use that, please. <laughs> yeah. Double on him. He's just making it out of the food plot. Yeah. Hey, hey, stay on him. He's going. He went down.